Mardo, thanks as always, mate. I know you're bloody busy organising a big lunch next week. What the hell is that about? Well, we've got Magic Round in Brisbane, and uh, we started it last year, and it was tremendous. What we do, we have a Legends lunch. Everyone has to hand in their phones. No one can buy their way in. We had a billionaire ring us the other day going, I'll bring Hemsworth if I can get a ticket. We said, nah, you've got to win your way in. We've got Alan Langer. So you hand your phone in. Uh, it's pretty magic ground. So the whole whole of the rugby league universe is in Brisbane next weekend. We've got Alan Langer, Wendell Saylor, Gordon Tallis and Billy Moore telling stories that have never been heard before. No holds barred. Uh, no knockout blows. Or that, you know, anything goes. There'll be nudity. There'll be Alan Langer in his underpants Go on, on the table. There'll brilliant, be, brilliant. There'll be everything. So I, that's why I'm slightly late. I'm I, t- sorry, I, t- mate, so mate, I, t- I can't, you know, the, the great thing about this is the first thing you said is hand your cell phone in so none of you twats can film this and then send it out and somebody can get upset about something they weren't even there to be upset about. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what's going to go on. Anything could happen. And last year, well, I can't talk about it. I keep on saying, can we tell? No, you can't tell that story on air. So it's stuff that will never be heard again or since before ever again. Uh, it's stuff that could get you into court with the woke warriors go if on. we've got ever got hurt. And so the, you we're know, carrying on in a But these are just it. stories. These are just stupid old Thank men you. telling stupid old men stories. That's correct. That is absolutely correct. But wouldn't don't you want to know what really happened? No one yes. can tell these stories anymore. No. So we went, let's get something where it's all just here. So if anyone wants to repeat a story, no, that didn't happen. No, that didn't happen. No, you didn't say that. No, you're just exaggerating, mate. You're adding a bit onto that. No. So very exciting. I bet that the, I bet that the, the stories are going to be just a little more ribald than Tim Horan throwing rocks onto a Timaru roof. Listen, we're not allowed to tell that. Oh, sorry, that's right. That's true. Yeah, Tim always gets upset. He always gets upset when he always says, "Is that Mardo? Did Mardo tell you that?" I don't know. I don't know. Just somebody bloody told me anyway. All right, mate. Your Reds for the first time in twenty-five oh. years won in Christchurch. How big a deal was oh. this to you as a former Queensland player? Well, do you know back in '99 there were eighteen Wallabies in the Reds team when we last beat the Crusaders down there? No mean feat. It, I know the Crusaders are languishing near the bottom, but they had a few of their players back and they were sort of informed from the weekend before. Mate, this is, how do we say to you, we need little moments. Like, we almost beat the Blues the weekend before. We need moments like that to get the non, you know, the casual rugby fan I keep telling you about, to get them attached again and they're starting to talk rugby again, which is great. And there's talk, and it's not just me, this might be the year where we, where, where we yeah. win the Bledis Lug. Well, no, okay, okay, so this Reds team five and five, but you know you had heartbreakers against the Canes, heartbreakers against the Blues. Okay, you've beaten the Crusaders. You've now got the Rebels. You're not going to cock this up from. Don't tell me you're going to cock this up from here, mate. You mean like when we got beaten by the fourth? And That's the exactly what I was thinking. And then you told me a week afterwards. You said, "Oh no, they all went there rubbing themselves in baby oil, didn't they? Thinking no. they'd won the game." <sighs> Young men take a while to learn. Take well, every. Every man, the older you get, the more wounds you cop and the more experience and learnings that you make. So hopefully this is sort of the making of the team. Plus we've got Tate McDermott back, Fraser McWright. That's one of the reasons we went all right last week. So we're starting to fire, mate. And so there's starting to be a few people going, oh, check out the Reds. That looks good. Right, oh, away we go. Bit of hope in Australian rugby. And we're starting, Australian rugby teams are starting to beat you guys. So it gives us hope especially when we get the Trojan horse Joe Smith in as Wallabies coach. We know what you're doing now, and hopefully we can combat it. So I'm talking just like a rugby fan in Australia. There's hope. There's a little glimmer of hope. Listen to that, ladies and gentlemen. That's pathetic, isn't it? That's, that's pathetic. Really? Why that's not? all you got, mate. You can tell me that you've got big, bustling front row forwards. You've got line out jumpers. You've got a first five. You've got hope. Oh, sorry, I'm looking down the team sheet. Where's he playing? We're, we're, uh, we're an honest team at the moment that grinds our way to victories despite, and I don't want to say the, uh, the cheating word, but despite. Here we go. Here we go. When Jeff Wilson claims that that doesn't look like a try by the Crusaders, it's... I'm you know, sorry. I'm sorry. Are... That try from Strange, you know, my brother's texting me during it. He's going off about it. He's going, so now you don't actually have to ground the ball on the line because nobody can tell. So it's a try because you didn't score a try. How on earth can the TMO goes, oh, I can't see anything. Well, in that case, 
F off then, mate. You're so useless, you can't see anything. The rest of us can see it didn't touch the ground. Thank you. Well, yeah, we, well why we got him? And it's the same thing. It's not just rugby union. You know who's trying to become rugby union? Rugby league. And Gus Gill was right. It's becoming a stupid game. It used to be, oh, is that fifth tackle? Oh, we better kick it. And now they try to introduce all these other little rules. They're trying to become rugby union. Hey, I'm They're a, idiots. I know, I know. And now They're they've got idiots. the cuddle tackle and the obstruction rule, which is just ridiculous. Uh, all right, here we go. Knock, knock. No, sir. The Broncos' chances of winning it all. The Broncos' chances of winning it all at all. Who? 